a droopy eyelid in their child can be a nightmare for the parents. Does it require treatment? Is it going to affect their vision? There are lots of questions in the minds of the parents. Watch this video to know more about what is the right approach to a child with ptosis or droopy eyelid. I'm Dr. Milan Naik and I'm an oculoplastic surgeon practicing in Hyderabad. Every child born with a droopy eyelid does not require a surgery immediately. The normal aperture of our eyelid is open since birth in such a way that the vision can develop normally. But when you have a droopy eyelid, part or entire field of vision can get blocked. And that can lead to reduced vision because the early years of life are the times when the vision development happens. So the connections between the eye nerve and the brain happen during the first few years of life. So having a droopy eyelid during this period is not only going to be harmful for vision development, but also is a cosmetic concern. What is important is to assess whether the vision development is happening normally or not. For children in whom the upper eyelid is only blocking the superior 50% of the eyelid, which means the central pupillary part of the eye is open, a surgery is generally not required. If the vision is not affected, we can simply continue to observe and record vision from time to time. But if the pupil is blocked and vision development is hampered, in that scenario, surgery becomes necessary in order to allow equal development of vision in both the eyes. Therefore, the surgery can either be divided into functional where it is needed to allow normal development of vision or cosmetic where it is not required for the vision development but for the psychosocial development of the child. So when the surgery is not required for vision purposes, when do we plan this surgery? This usually is not required until the child starts going to a play school or maybe even the kindergarten. That is the time when the child really starts socializing, becomes aware of their findings. Peers are likely to tease the child at school if the eyelid is abnormal and so forth. Some kids are brave enough to even tolerate that and they don't get psychosocially affected. In these cases, the problem is merely cosmetic and it can be done as and when the child feels it's necessary to operate. Oftentimes, I get patients where the parents are more keen to get the child operated because they are maybe ashamed of carrying a defective child in society where everyone asks them, what's wrong with your child? Although that concern is valid, still it is important to understand whether the child per se is getting affected psychologically by it. If yes, by all means, we should take the risks involved in surgery and go ahead and do it. But if the child is not even bothered by it, I would request the parents to wait until the child is ready. Because only when the child internally wants to look better, will the child cooperate through all the process involved and the pain involved in surgery.